What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we have our very first championship title belt replica review and it is the Universal Championship. I know that Brock Lesnar is the current Universal Champion, but that's hashtag not my champion. My true champion is Finn Balor right here. We have his side plates on the title belt. Um, we decided to give my brother... Uh, the Finn Balor side plates as well to go with his championship belt yesterday for Christmas. And uh, Finn Balor's his favorite wrestler, so we definitely had to throw those in there instead of, you know, having him waste his Christmas money or something like that to purchase some. We went ahead and threw them in there for him. So, hashtag, we're a great family. But this is the third championship title we have in our collection. Uh, we have the Universal Championship, of course. Then we have the WWE First Version Spinner Championship Replica. And then we have the WWF Attitude Era championship replica as well and all three of them are amazing all three of them are replicas they're not commemorative we don't do rep uh we don't do commemorative we don't like it um we don't see the point in wasting 250 for the commemorative when we can pay another 150 for the closest thing to the real thing so we are big on our replica belts and we cannot wait to get more in here. I will definitely do more reviews as I receive them. I want to expand the collection and get all the title belts that I see fit. But this thing is absolutely beautiful in person. I cannot wait to get in there and show you guys all the details with this brand new camera. I'm so excited to get into it. I'm also going to show you the uh, side plates. And I'm also going to show you what you will receive if you purchase this belt yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, first up, if you were to order this from WWE Shop, you get this nice carrying case with this nice material right here. The older ones, I swear, were not in this material. They used to be uh, not as durable and they would tear really easy, but this is the uh, carrying case. It has the WWE logo and then it has the name of the title belt that you received. If it is a commemorative, it will have commemorative on there. And then on the back, it does have a uh, zipper that you can, you know... Uh, unzip and then uh, put your title belt in there. It does come with some nice uh, insert foam that uh, protects the a title belt if you're traveling or something like that to go to shows or whatever you're doing going to a con or something like that and you want to travel with your championship i did it with my wwe spinner and it actually does take care of it so that is nice that they give you but now that we've covered the carrying case guys let's get into the side plates and all right guys if you were to purchase cut some custom side plates from a wwe shop as well you would also get this nice beautiful case for them to sit in if you spin it on the top it shows the left i believe yeah, it shows the left side plate um, or right side plate. If you're wearing the belt, it's the right side plate. If you're looking at the belt on the wall or something like that, it will be the left side plate. But you have that right there. It is a very nice box. You got the golden little thing on the front. Flip that up and open it, and you will have your side plates in there. It's got some nice velvet in there. And these are obviously the ones that come with the title. So if you're switching them out, you want to go ahead and put the ones that were on the belt in here to keep them safe and stuff like that. You can keep them on the shelf, open it up, have it, you know, displayed nicely or something like that. But this is a really nice piece, and they always make it very nice. On the bottom, you have nothing but the shop logo. But that is it for that, so let's get into the freaking title belt. And finally, guys, getting into the Universal Championship itself. Here's a little overview before we take a closer look at it. Freaking beautiful money shot right there. But starting out over here on the strap, we have the gold buckles, you know, that snap in place if you were to wear it. And then we have the red strap, which sets it apart from the WWE Championship, obviously, because this is literally the WWE title with a red strap. But here, if you zoom in right here, you will see that it has the WWE logo like pressed into the strap with this nice uh, pattern going through it. And it makes it feel very prestigious. Like It feels very nice and clean. And everything that they did to this title definitely um, you know, makes it feel high up. It definitely feels like the most coveted prize in WWE. Coming into the next, or the first side plate, I should say, we have the Finn Balor side plate and the red fin with the Balor in that teeth looking design. It looks so sick. It's like a demon and it looks so clean. I love the black behind the letters. I think it really stands out, especially with the whole title being red with the black swoosh and everything. Like the side plates really tie into the belt nicely. It's like Finn Balor. It belongs to Finn Balor or something like that. But um, yeah, all the jewels look freaking fantastic. I love the way this title looks in person. We have the gold divider going through right here before we get to the main plate. And then we have the money shot right there. The main plate looks so freaking clean. You have Universal Champion going down in that nice font. All the red jewels and the white sort of color coming through. A lot of shimmer to it. Behind the WWE logo, you have this crocodile-like uh, skin design, and it looks really clean as well. There's, feels very nice. Nothing on this title feels cheap because it obviously wasn't. 
uh, coming through the next after we go through the main plate, you have another gold divider here, separating it from the other side plate. And the other side plate we have right here, it has the red gums with the baller coming down into the teeth of the demon. And it looks so freaking nice with that black and the red and white all tying together with the rest of the title. Um, I mean, what do you say? It just looks so nice. And then we have the exact same side plate that was on the other side over there. And this thing is just so freaking nice in person. Um, on this side, we have this other etched in style. We have the WWE logo again. And then we have some more uh, stuff pressed into the strap. And this thing, just Jesus, look at all the details etched into the thing. Just so freaking nice. But over here, I have not removed that yet because I didn't want to uh, scratch it up or anything. And this is my brother's belt, so I'll let him do that when he wants to. But yes, this freaking title is so nice. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this Replica Championship title review. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. Leave a comment down below what you think of the Universal Championship. I got to say, when this first championship design was released, you know, at SummerSlam 2016, I literally despised this championship. I thought it was so, you know, uncreative. It just really just showed what WWE is all about. And it was just taking shortcuts and giving us cookie-cutter bullshit. But, you know, it, it's grown on me a lot. It looks amazing in person, and I think the Finn Balor side plates really do it justice. But, again, this title has really grown on me. I, at the first, it's still probably one of my least favorite title designs ever. However, I think it still looks very amazing. And if you want, if you like the Universal Championship, if you're a fan of Brock Lesnar, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Goldberg, any of that good, sh you definitely want to pick up this title. Go over to WWEShop.com, pick this thing up. It is amazing. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.